Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to predict the AUF after you do a CLL algorithm. And what I mean by that is you get a CLL case after doing the layer and at this point I already know that I'm going to do a U after I've done the CLL. So, so I'm able to solve the CLL and the AUF without having to look twice which makes solving with CLL a lot faster. So the idea behind it is that when you set up your CLL cases, you find some sort of solved piece. So, for example, this CLL case. We have red, red, and green, blue, so same opposite. And when I do the CLL algorithm, this corner is going to be in this spot still here. So, this corner is solved. So, when I do the algorithm, which is sexy move sledgehammer, the AOF is solved. And that's helpful because say I have it like this, I know this corner needs to go back here, which is a U prime away. So when I do the algorithm, I'm going to end with a U prime. So, like that. Another example is, um, this case. Yeah, this case. So you have two oranges, same, and then this color is opposite of these two oranges, so it's same opposite, and this corner back here is solved. And when I do the algorithm, it's going to stay solved. So if I have it off like this, I know that this corner is a U prime away from being solved. So I know that the AUF is going to be a U prime. One more example of that: this CLL case, opposite, and then these two are the same. And this corner is going to be solved when I do the algorithm and so you don't have to AUF for that particular case but if you have it like this you notice that this is a U2 away from being solved so it has to go over here with a U2 so you know that after doing the algorithm you have to do a U2 so that seems fairly straightforward but sometimes like with this CL case you won't have a solved corner so what you have to look for is matching stickers and what do I mean by that is this red is lined up with the red of the first layer and when I do the CLL algorithm it's going to be an AUF skip because these two reds match so if you have it like this you'll see this red is a U prime away from matching up with red so like that so I know that the AUF is going to be a U prime like so. Another example of that would be this CLL case. We have two opposites here and two opposites here. And since there's no solved corner, I'd look at this sticker and see that it's matched up with blue. And when the blues are matching with this particular sticker, it's going to be an AUF skip. So if you have it off like this, you'll know that this blue does not go off green, it's a U2 away from being from lining up with blue. So you know that after doing the algorithm you have to do a U2. So just do that. One more example would be um, this CLO case. We have two reds and two oranges, so same, same. And there's no solved corner. So, to predict the AUF, you have to look at this sticker here. So it's green matching up with green. So when this happens, you get an AUF skip. And then if you have it off like, say by that, you know that green has to go on the back. It's a U prime away from being solved. So you know that after doing the CLL algorithm, you have to do a U prime. Like that. So by going through all your CLL algorithms, and by that I mean doing the inverse of the CLL algorithm, you should be able to find either a solved corner or a solved sticker. But sometimes you won't find either, and you have to be sort of experimental with your AUF predictions. So, for this case, the soon case, you have two opposites here and two opposites here. But as you can see, there's no aligned, like fully solved corner, or an aligned sticker. So to predict the AUF, you have to be a bit... I guess ambitious 
and what I do for this case is I see that this corner is a tool away from being solved which means I'm going to get an AUF skip so for this case I have to think a little bit about the AUF so say so I get it like this I see this corner here and it's a U away from being solved but since I know that for it to be an AUF skip it has to be opposite I have to think in the opposite way so it's a U away from being solved so that means the AUF is going to be U prime so I do soon and then U prime um, another example of that would be no not that um, this case so for this case we have opposites here and the same here and for this case I hold it from this angle actually for this case this corner no so there's no solved corner and there's no aligned sticker but orange is opposite of red so the general idea is if you don't see a solved corner or a aligned sticker to use as a bookmark for your AUF you look for opposite related stuff so I see that orange is opposite of red and when that happens so when it's a U2 away from being aligned it's going to be an AUF skip so I'll show you again so if you have it like this no, I'll just show you like this, it's aligned but since I know that it has to be a U2 away for it to be in the correct AUF in position I know that after I do the algorithm I have to do a U2 so then U2 so that's the general idea go through all your CLL algorithms do the inverse of them and then try to find either an aligned sticker or even better a solved piece and if you can't find that just find for an oppositely aligned sticker or an oppositely solved piece because you can use those as bookmarks for solving the AOF I know how to predict the AOF for every single CLL algorithm which makes doing CLL a lot easier and faster for me so I hope this helped and thanks for watching